Wait a minute, boys and girls. I think I see our B. That's right, our school-wide expectations. Be responsible, be respectful, and be safe. Good morning, Charles Wright staff and students. Welcome. It is hump day. We are on Wednesday, May 12th, 2021. And what a beautiful Wednesday it is. Um, teachers, I would just like for you to be reminded that I've canceled the link for the staff meeting this afternoon. However, Ms. Stahl will be sending out a new link. Um, she needed to send the link so that we could do the breakout session. So please accept the link Ms. Stahl sends out or Ms. Heath sends out. Um, but I have canceled the link that I originally sent out. That's all I have for you today. Pass it on over to Ms. Davis. Thank you so much. All right. So as you can see, we have a very special guest with us today. Our very own school social worker, Ms. Hunter. Ms. Hunter, take it away. Hope you're on mute. Thank you, Ms. Davis. And good morning, Charles Wright family. Today, we're going to be talking briefly about having a safe walk to school. Again, one of the things when you're having a safe walk to school is make sure you stay out of blind spots, especially when there's a large truck or a bus, there's a blind spot in the front and the back in the left and the right side. They just can't see you. Second thing, make sure you're visible. Wear bright clothes or if not, have on reflective tape if you have on dark clothes. And lastly, just make sure you're obeying all the traffic signals and the signs. Walk on the sidewalks, not in the street. Be safe on having a safe walk to school. And back to you, Ms. Davis. Thank you so much for that safety tip. All righty, now we will have our Pledge of Allegiance by Ms. Eubanks. Ms. Eubanks, take it away. Thank you, Ms. Davis. Good morning, staff and students. And I would love to do the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which we stand, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Awesome. Thank you so much. Now, Ms. Dickinson, do you have any data for us today? Yes, I do. And good morning, everyone. Yesterday, our percentage was 77%. That is a rise from Monday, which again was 73%. But remember you all, we are rising and we would love to be 80% or more. And guess what? We're working on something to make sure we get it. So it's back to you, Ms. Davis. Thank you so much, Ms. Dickerson. Don Donovan, you're a corn on a cob. Yes, I am. Wow. Do you have any words of wisdom for us today, corn on a cob? Yes, I do. Thank you, Ms. Davis. Good morning, staff and students. I hope you enjoyed your Tuesday. Here is your daily bit of words of wisdom. Keep putting out good. It will come back to you tenfold in unexpected ways. Mm, I love that. Yes. Keep putting out good. Awesome. All right. Brene, Brene, do you have a riddle for us today? Brene, Brene, do you have a riddle for us today? Thank you, Ms. Davis. Good morning, staff and students. And yes, I do have a riddle for you today. Today, our riddle is, what has hands and a face but can't hold anything or a smile? Mm, what? A clock. Oh, a clock. Yes, it does have hands. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Brene, for our riddle today. That's all we have for you today. Bye.